Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Arena Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the genetically modified Overkill mod once again. Let's combine two characters together, get all the positives and all of the negatives, make a brand new one. Today is going to be wild. We're going to combine the soldier with the soldier to make double soldier. It's going to be absurd. It's certainly going to be broken. Let's see what we can do here. What weapon do we want to go for? I mean, shotgun seems pretty logically good. Uh, SMGs, obviously, like an interesting call as well. But yeah, let's take it. Let's let's go for the standard route. But let's see what we got. We get 100% damage up while standing still. 100% attack speed while standing still. 20% speed. 400% pickup range. Awkwardly, we're going to get 30 knockback, which I think is going to be too much. But we cannot attack while moving. So we will see how this goes. Like the delta of how strong we are when moving versus standing still. I mean, like, obviously infinite. For some reason, I was thinking like streamer, you know, uh, streamer can move and then they get stronger, etc., etc. But we have like really big pickup radius already. But this is just going to be... It's going to be dumb. Like, I don't know what else to say, uh, aside from the fact that it's going to be absurdly, absurdly stupid. We'll take the SMGs. Uh, any points of roll there? Isn't S... I guess SMGs, like, really expensive, huh? Is it that, or we just, like, didn't get that much money? But, hey, it is definitely going to be the ultimate standstill kill build day. Like, to the extreme, obviously. You know? We've seen it before. But this is going to be the ultimate version of it. Usually not an archetype I care about that much, but this mod kind of has me thinking like, well, if I can see it taken to the absolute extreme once, like, I mean, give it to me then. Like, I want, I do want to see it in action here. We're getting a surprisingly low amount of money, though, which is a little bit interesting. I wonder what that's about. We will grab the SMG in a sec. I guess we get the coffee if we have enough. We don't need that much more attack speed. Like, 110 attack speed on the SMG is already pretty darn good. I would absolutely adore getting uh, negative knockback. Literally whenever we can find it. Oh, so the mouse cursor goes away when you move. So that's why we, we're kind of just like... Da -da, da -da -da. But what is the ideal? So, like, we want as much uh, flat range damage as possible. That would be, obviously, one of the better ooh, things we could do. I guess we could do some aiming. Harvesting speed. I don't really need more speed. I'll definitely take crit chance. That would be good. I'm looking for flat ranged. We can take mutation. Doesn't really matter. I do want that ugly tooth, but... I think range will be good, too, I guess. <laughs> just, yeah, we'll just take that one. We will get a little bit, a little bit more range up as we pick up the, you know, the next SMG, do the set bonus and everything. Okay, yeah, this, I'll admit, it's a little bit more interesting when we uh, start to incorporate a little bit of manual aiming action to it, kind of making it more of like an on-rails shooter almost, than truly a standstill kill. It's actually kind of interesting. I'm <laughs> playing it that way. I don't need more percent damage right now. Flat ranged. It's going to be incredible. Definitely take ugly tooth. Butterfly will be good, but I just don't want to go for that right now. I think I can take hedgehog. Like, lifesteal should be really ideal for us. Lifesteal or maybe going for like a... Um... Oh... Maybe you're going for, like, a um, kill build for money. For money. For health. Like a tentacle. Like, um... We could deal with an elephant. Like, the 400% radius is so nice. I think that that's probably the best increase that we have. And I think it's, like, it's really proving, and it makes a lot of sense. It's no surprise that um, the best combo characters, like, when you combine two of the same character together... Or the ones that don't have an innate downside. I'm not going for that yet. Fine, I'll take the range damage. I'll take some percent damage. Here we go. More SMGs sounds great. 
I don't want to get range down. I think with a standstill kill build, the range of your weapon is one of the more important things you can get. I really do think so. Oh, it's, it's fun to just manually aim it so we're always firing like this. Ooh, boy. Yeah, it kind of, it, it, it brings it back around to being engaging. Because <laughs> we have a lot of wasted shots, like a lot of wasted shots, but it's also kind of exciting. Whoop. Oh my god, if we get a horde wave or something, it's going to be actually kind of scary. I'll take the three armor. Recycling machine is always a good get this early. There's been so many weird ghosts. I don't think we need much more pickup range. We're probably good. I wouldn't be upset with just like a little bit more though. <laughs> we can do that. There we go. We get into the corner. Give it a little blast or so. Okay, those guys are taking a surprisingly um, longer amount of time to die than I would have anticipated. Ow. Okay. Smooth. We're going to need to get, like, some level of... We're either going to need to go so deep into the absurd strength that we kill the bosses immediately, or... Um, or we're going to need some survivability. One of the two. Flat range damage, really important. My econ really does seem absolutely, like, trash, though. I don't know why. Why Why am I getting such a small amount of money compared to normal? Is it just because we've been <laughs> on runs where we get an absurd amount of money? I think that might just be it. Because we are getting every single material that's dropping. There's none going to into the reserves. Absolutely zero going into the reserves. Ooh, that was scary. Which begs the question, why, why such bad econ? I think it really is just the fact that we've been having amazing harvesting sort of focus runs. The ones we've been doing have been heavy, heavy econ. Oh boy. That guy gotta go. Scoot. Yeah, the implementation of just doing a little bit of manual aiming as well makes this so much more interesting to play than just like a standard standstill. Ow. Yeah, we need a little bit more range if we're gonna be going for SMG. Holy. Take the crit instead of wasting some rerolls. I'll grab it. A metal plate. I'm gonna say nah. Let's be spicy. I could take a mutation, I suppose. Wave 9 should be pretty easy, one would imagine. Should, for an SMG build, it should probably be one of the easier things you could get. One would imagine, one would imagine. If I can find a minigun, I'm definitely going to swap to that, though. Of course, of course. Just this, like, I feel like... For the doubling up of the characters, we just got to pull out all the stops and do, like, the standard logical builds for them. Just to really see. If, we, if we're if we only ever doing, like, one of these double up of the same character kind of runs, we want to at least do, like, the most them version of it, I think, right? And for me, I've always thought of this character as more of, like, the SMG angle. I think it might be a trap. Truthfully, I think that Taser might be better. Man, we really had to get in there. Eight dodge minus armor. I'll definitely take insanity. 12% damage, sure. Flat range, one flat ranged. I'm going to say nah. Another SMG. I guess I can go for the lumberjack shirt. It's a little bit silly. Range up SMG. I, I'll take a leather vest. Though it's a little low. Rocket launcher is a little bit... I don't know. It, it seems cool, but 
Eh. I'll save my excitement for a, um... Another day. No, I'll save my excitement for... A potential minigun. Maybe, like, I would take an obliterator. You better believe that. Just to see it in action alongside these. I think it'd be fun. 20 health. 20 health. 3 armor is pretty bad, if I'm going to be real. Okay, keep your eyes out for the big boys. Keep your eyes out for the big boy. Because they're really the only thing that could be too, like, truly scary for me here. You there? Okay. Yeah, it just feels like I'm playing an arcade game, like a light gun game or something, you know? Uh, nope. Uh, there we go. Percent damage, flat damage, percent damage, flat damage. Let's get silly with it. Dodge harvesting HP regen. Uh, claw tree could be uh, fine. I, that would be the only, like, kind of range down thing I take. There's uh, <laughs> Okay. There's an epic rocket launcher. I'll get some luck... Because, again, if I am looking for, hopefully, like, a minigun or something, we're going to want more luck. God, our knockback is too high. Like, it's kind of funny that that's, that's the biggest downside of this run. Is that we have too much knockback. Like, way too much knockback. It's pushing these guys away when I want to be killing them. That, that actually could even be responsible for why the econ is surprisingly not that great. Could just be that, literally. Okay. Back it up. Oh my! What the frame? I'm trying to get, I gotta get those guys into the corner. The loot goblins. I gotta get them into the corner. Ow! But yeah, the knockback could be literally the whole entire reason to um not go SMGs and instead go like um. I don't know. Pistol. I'll take a small magazine for sure. Repost, we could. I'm going to say now, nah, though. Uh, one moment. I, those lag drops scared me. I'm going to close out of some stuff. All right. Hopefully, we're good now. Uh, SMG. I'll take a fertilizer. I mean, yeah. Take a barricade as well. Like, I don't want to tank my speed. That's... That's, I think, one of the traps with this sort of character, or this playstyle, is like, oh, well, if I'm standing still, I don't need speed. Right, Smile? I I don't think that's the case, though. Especially, like, when you get to the bosses or mini-bosses. Oh, my God, this is a horde wave. Wait, this is going to be kind of cool. Okay, hold on. I'm doing some manual aiming tricks. Okay, good. See, this is what apparently what I needed the whole time to make this archetype more interesting for me. Double it. Make it even stupider. Because now I'm playing uh, an arcade shooter. Okay, where are we? You? Ooh. I want the loot goblins, so it's so hard to get loot goblins. I'm going to take no to that. Three range damage flat, 12% damage. Three range... Oh my god, that was so lucky. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, alloy, yes. Insanity, yes. Finn? I'm going to say no. Again, just because of the luck. All right, more enemies, though, I think is going to be good. I would happily take mouse today. I would, like, really happily take mouse Lifesteal being a stat that I really should get more of, but I've been neglecting. Oh. Okay, this is kind of fun, too. I wouldn't call it ooh, good by any means. But it's very fun. 
Yeah, we, we really need the auto-targeting when they start to get close to us and we have, like, more than one of them. Okay, good, 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 good. Focus up, focus up, focus up. <laughs> uh, okay, absolutely, I'll take that lifesteal. I'll take this lifesteal, too, sure. Alloy is incredible for us. Candle is the opposite of what I want. Community support... It's already going to be getting to the point of redundancy. Um, eh. It's kind of redundant when you get to a certain amount of attack speed. I'll do it anyways. Good deal. I think it's still worth it to get Dangerous Bunny. Ooh, this might be a little bit weird. I would love to get uh, Bandana or Ricochet. Okay, we're still getting those drops. I think, I guess that means it might be related to this combo, which I can understand. Could be due to the fact that it's, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I don't know what would be broken about it, but not broken as far as like strong i'm saying broken as far as like literally what's causing it to kind of make the game shut down something about the two standstill procs like going at the same time i guess maybe ow i mean thankfully our uh, our pickup radius is so big if we take a hit like everything on the map just starts absorbing into me immediately so that's pretty good Dodge engineering harvest. Nah. Take the luck. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I'm gonna say it's late, for, too late for vigilante ring. I'm gonna say it's too late for fertilizer as well. But yeah, we just need a way to hit more enemies per bullet. Bandana would probably be the. The dream that's likely. 35 luck? I don't know. That's... I, I can't imagine we're... I don't think soldiers tagged for range damage or anything, though. Is the issue. I don't think we have, like, a tag for it, so I can't say that I, we're likely to get those things. Bandana, it feels like it shows up every other, you know, every other Wednesday. Ricochet is, like, pops by once a month. But when it pops by, I don't know why, when it pops by, it shows up, like, every day in a row for, like, five days. I don't know what it is with some of the legendary items. I know that there's not actually any system to make that happen, but it feels like sometimes items, like, they have a week where they just keep showing up. No Olenki. Flat range damage. Yes. I'll take a sniper gun. That sounds fun. Pumpkin. I could take it on Prospect. Pumpkin on Prospect. Alright. Sniper, let's see what's up. Oof. Wait. The bouncing of the extra projectiles of the sniper actually kind of sucks. Like, the fact that they bounce and then they knock back enemies is actually... I could really easily knock an enemy into myself. I hate to say it. I really hate to say it, but I probably shouldn't have the sniper rifle. It's doing a good amount of damage, but... 216 versus 70, considering... Yeah, two, wait, 218 every 0.94 versus 70... Well, it's not a fair comparison. It's a relatively fair, because it's a... Eh. 218 every 0.94 versus 70 every 0.07 is... Incomparable. Like, it, it's actually bad, which is wild here. 
We would take the minigun. I, I guess we get rid of the sniper. What's the tag for? Precise? Yeah, I don't need it. I don't want it. Sad stuff. Very sad stuff. Uh, I guess it's probably worth that price. Definitely take poisonous tonic. Percent damage good. I feel strange about doing it, but it's just not that good right now. It's probably a little late for hunting trophy, right? Well, how much crits do I have? 88? Uh, it actually will probably pay for itself. I'm going to take it because I'm curious. About 180. All right, this is going to be a really good test. Okay. I didn't even get to see his health bar. <laughs> But yeah, I'm literally, I'm going to take, uh, I'm taking the hunting trophy because I want to just, I don't know, want to have a little mini game. But can we, can we pay off our hunting trophy with our hunting trophy? At 11 right now? I think it will. If it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, it's important. Like, does it pay itself? Ooh, that's a wake up call. That was a bullet, too, so that's like half damage or something. Does it pay itself off by the end of wave 19? Because obviously if it pays itself off during wave 20, that's irrelevant. You know, doesn't mean anything to me. It's good. It's really good. I'm not going to take it, though. There's the obliterator. I'll admit that that's something I want to see. Once again, no scope. Barrier. Chameleon. <laughs> you never you spend your free reroll. I, I, they're all locked. I just want to do it just because of why not. This is doing how much? A thousand three hundred. That'll be our our boss blaster. It is fun to see how fast it's firing. Considering it's the obliterator. Yeah, it feels like uh, the middle ground, like SMG versus sniper, it, it felt like SMG really won in that situation, but I feel like you just need to... If you're going to do it, you need to go further. Ooh, ooh. You need to go all in. Tap move, tap move. Avoid the bebes. Good. God, the obliterator has infinite piercing on it, yeah? I don't want range down. Uh, this would have been divine much earlier. Coupon doesn't matter anymore. I don't want any knockback. Good. There's not even a point to get made with a beard anymore, is there? Not really. Not really. I mean, here's the thing. This is... This is busted. Duh. But soldier runs kind of are always busted until wave 20. And then you're like, oh, shoot. You know? When you're faced with reality of how difficult it is to fight a boss when you can't move. And the boss spawns bullets underneath you and, like, constantly chases you down. You're like, ah, yes. This is quite literally not made for this. Ah, yes. Okay, hunting trophy, like, really paid for itself. I'd rather have the money right now. I'll take some more lifesteal, small magazine. That's a chameleon. Sure, we'll go, we'll go for it. I don't want more speed down is the issue. Like, I do, but I'm not going to. <laughs> what is up this? I'll take lens. All right. 
I guess I'll take landmines since I don't think I'll be able to afford anything else. Okay. Oh, I clicked out of my window. See, this is always the issue. Ah! <laughs> it's like, it's super overpowered. That is the thing. It's It only works because we were double soldier. It only, like, we were able, <laughs> be able to rip through that. Dang, man. Obliterator did, yeah, 19, 5, 10. But how much... See, the thing is that looks so good. How much of that was overkill damage that didn't actually help us in any way? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got our knockback down to 21. Uh... 7k versus 8. Huh. That's pretty... That's pretty interesting. That's more interesting than anything else here. But that... Didn't... Well... We can compare it to the 9k as well. Like, I don't know why this specific one did so much worse. That's strange. Uh, recycling machine. I I don't know. Did it pay for itself? I think we, we took so many of the items that were offered to us. I think it paid for itself. Um, dangerous bunny. Super paid for itself. Of course it did. It pretty much always does. But it, it's weird. It's, it's another one that's kind of deceptive. Because you look at that and you're like, oh, that saved me. That saved me 696? It's like, yeah, I mean... Kind of. It only saves you that much if you definitely would have wanted to re-roll all the times that you press the free re-roll. And the answer is you probably would, but it's not exactly 696 gained value, you know what I'm saying? So it's hard to really be, like, too wowed by that. I wish there was a way to get, like, you know, uh, value calculated from Peacock. Like, how many levels did this gain me? That'd be super cool. Hunting trophy really paid for itself. Tentacle only healed us for five, but that's because we we pretty much never took damage, and if we took damage, we healed immediately from all the food absorbing in. It's all just kind of wild. That was that went exactly as I expected it to. Uh, no better, no worse. It just went exactly how I thought it was going to go. And uh, yeah, that's that. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Anybody who has a suggestion for a combo that you want to see me do, either two characters together or a combination of two of the exact same character, smash into one. Let me know in the form of a comment down below. Some are going to be easier than others. I think we got some of the easiest ones out of the way, like, already, because that's what people keep suggesting. They're like, do this one because it would be broken. But there's going to be some that are, you know, uh, very, very challenging as well, or some that are just interesting, like... Like, the lucky run, I would not call it... I don't think it was, like, a free win. I was thinking it was going to be free win-like, but, you know, the minus 100% experience gain and the minus 120 attack speed was pretty sketchy. I would not necessarily call the old busted... I don't know. There's just some weird stuff. Uh, but alas, alas, that's that. This is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.